Hi everyone. Um, today I am going to uh, start a series on uh, advanced ship stability problems and particularly focus on uh, the topic of bilging uh, of an end compartment. So today I will take up one example and then in future I will take up more examples of bilging of end compartments and then of intermediate compartments and midship compartments as well. All right. So without wasting much time, let's get into it. Uh, in today's question, we have a box shaped vessel, uh, which is 120 meters long and 40 meters wide, uh, which is floating at an even keel. That means the forward and aft drafts are the same and the draft is six meters. The vessel is in seawater so seawater density is 1.025 and the forward most compartment is 30 meters long and 40 meters wide and this was empty but then it gets bilged so after bilging once the compartment starts to take in water you have to find the new drafts forward and aft the other information that is given to you is that the kg of the vessel is 7 meters. That's it. There is nothing else if I'm not wrong. All right. So let's get started. So like I have told you guys before that with any ship stability questions, make sure that you first draw and to understand what exactly is going on. Otherwise, it will be hard for you to comprehend um, or imagine what is going on. Alright, so let's draw whatever we can. So I'll draw the scenario here. So what you have to do is basically draw a box shaped vessel like this. So it has to be like a rectangular shape because the length and the breadth are different. So we've got a length and then the breadth you can't show. So this is about 40 meters wide. Right. And the length of the vessel is about 120 meters, not about, but it is 120 meters, right? And it is floating at an even keel draft of, let's say, let's make this the first water line. So let's call it W1 L1. This is the first water line. And uh, this is the draft of six meters draft, right? This is, this is the current scenario. And then they say that uh, we'll change the color. There's uh, the, uh, the forward most compartment. So we'll call this the forward part F and this is the aft part, right? Of the vessel. The forward most compartment gets bilged. And this compartment is 30 meters long and again, 40 meters wide, which has been shown above. And uh, this gets bilged. So of course the water will fill up at least to the draft level so the water gets filled up here right now as soon as the water will start getting filled up what will happen is that uh, once the compartment starts to fill up with water the vessel will start to sink and it will sink to a new level which we will call w2 l2 and this draft of this is something we don't know we have to find this out that's the question so that's the question basically so you have to find out w2 l2 and uh, this is pretty much what we know, isn't it? That's pretty much it, right? So now you have to start solving this question. So all you know is kg is seven meters. Uh, we'll use that later on. So let's start solving this question, right? So this is what we know. And what I can do is that uh, to make things easier for you, let me show you how things will change. Mm, so I will draw another scenario. Why am I drawing another scenario is because this is going to be the final scenario after the vessel has sunk to the new drafts W2 and L2. So I'll keep the scenario same It's still uh, the same vessel 120 by 40 meters long. But because I'll have to show you a few things here, let me just draw a scenario here so that you understand what is going to happen here. Right. So this is W2 L2. And again, there is a forward most compartment. I'll keep the same thing here, right? And which is going to get, of course, fully filled with water once the uh, bilging starts, right? But uh, it will, of course, uh, create a new draft of a vessel. So let's see how. All right. So what I'll do is I will first have to find the uh, center of flotation. So of a box shaped vessel, which is at even keel, which is the first scenario, six meters. So if you just draw the 
it will be at the midship your center of flotation will be at midship all right so midship is often shown by this symbol here this is the midship symbol right so this is where your original center of flotation what we call is f will lie right whether you call it here or you call it here it doesn't matter f now what is this center of flotation where is this so this is exactly half of the vessel so if the vessel is 120 meters long so that means and again you know not to scale here this is 60 meters and this is 60 meters right so we call that f now once the bilging takes place and water starts to flood in because of which the draft will change now so your center of flotation will also change now what will be the new center of flotation let me show you with another color so then what we do is we've got 30 meters here as you guys know 30 meters length of the forwardmost tank we don't include this in the length of the vessel we will include it we will exclude it sorry right so when we exclude 30 meters of length what is the new length of the vessel 90 meters right so because the total length of the vessel is 120 meters when it was an even keel the center of flotation was in the center f it was in the midship of the vessel f but now that the bilging has commenced and the draft will change the forward and aft rate will change because forward is taking in more water so now when we try to determine where our new center of rotation will be we exclude the length of the forward most part of the ship so 120 minus 30 meters will become 90 meters and hence the new center of rotation will be half of 90 meters half of 90 somewhere here we call this f1 so half of 90 meters is what 45 meters right so this distance here is 45 meters and let's say this distance is also 45 meters although on, on drawing you don't see it like that but that is what i'm trying to make you understand all right so what is the distance f f1 now if this is a half part of the vessel or half perpendicular you can say and this is forward perpendicular so let's say a f1 so keep looking at the drawing that's why i drew two drawings so a f1 like i told you is what is it a f1 it is a f minus f f1 right so first we have to find a f1 is nothing but a f minus f f1 right now a f1 is 45 meters as you know it's the half of the new length of the vessel so where do i get 45 from 90 by 2 45 meters a f what was a f remember a f is the original center of rotation so which was half of 120 meters when the vessel was on even keel this is 60 meters minus f f1 so why am i trying to find f f1 i'll tell you later on all right so you have to find the shift of the center of rotation from f to f f f1 so that's what we are trying to find therefore f f1 if i have to find out it will be 60 minus 45 meters simple mathematics you can take f f1 on the other side and bring 45 here so this will be 15 meters all right so f f1 is 40 15 meters that's the shift in the center of rotation right so this distance here if i have to find this distance here f f1 is 15 meters i'll use this information later so now that the water has started to pour in we'll find the mean sinkage mean sinkage formula is permeability multiplied by the volume of the compartment that has been built divided by the intact water plane area minus the water plane area that has been affected multiplied by the permeability again now here there is no question of permeability because it was an empty compartment there is no cargo present so p equals nothing don't say zero otherwise the equation will become zero there is no permeability 
so you can write is there is no permeability so we don't account for p we don't include it in the formula so what does the formula become so i will say mean sinkage equals volume of the flooded compartment divided by water plane area intact water plane area minus the water plane area that was affected by the bilging so this means volume of the bilged compartment is length of the bilged compartment multiplied by width of the bilge compartment multiplied by draft of the bilge compartment which is the original case six meters of draft right it is the volume of the bilge compartment so this is the volume of the when it was empty of course right volume of compartment when it was empty before bilging started taking place. now after bilging because its water plane area got affected i will have intact water plane area length by breadth of the vessel 120 by 40 minus length by breadth of the water plane compartment all right so this is of the vessel water plane area and this is of the compartment water plane area because when i subtract the water plane area of the compartment which has got affected by bilging from the intact water plane area i get the resultant water plane area right so mean sinkage will therefore come out to be if you if you add everything or rather if you solve the equation so this will be 7200 divided by 4800 minus 1200 which is equal to 7200 divided by 3600 which is equal to 2 meters so because everything was in meters here the mean sinkage will be 2 meters that means the vessel will sink overall by 2 meters because of the water that has come in overall it will sink by 2 meters because of the weight of the water that has come in but we have to find individual drafts forward and aft. So let's do, let's see how. Now, once the water starts to come in, there will be a moment to change trim, MCTC. The formula for which is displacement multiplied by longitudinal GM of the vessel divided by 100 times length between perpendiculars. All right, so this W stands for displacement, GML stands for longitudinal GM, not transverse GM in this case, and this is length between perpendicular so this is lbp length between perpendicular which is 120 meters and this is displacement so i'm just writing all this so that later on if you are trying to follow this you know otherwise you can find these formulas in the books itself right so let's see what we can find out and what we can't so first let's find out the displacement w w is the displacement of the vessel how can we find out the entire displacement length by breadth by draft by density of the water in which it is floating so this is 120 meters by 40 meters by 6 meters multiplied by what density are we floating in 1.025 which is sea water right so in this case this is sea water so what is the displacement we get is 29520 tons always remember to write the unit of the value that you have found out so that you are very clear now let's find out longitudinal gm all right so how can we find out longitudinal gm so we can write longitudinal gm is equal to longitudinal km minus kg what is km km is nothing but let's write new kb plus bm l now I'll, I'll tell you why i've written new so you have to find out the uh, longitudinal gm after the vessel has started to take in water right after the bilging has taken place so water is now flooding in now you know that water is flooding in and the overall sinkage we have found out will be two meters overall sinkage right so draft vessel will sink by two meters overall now if i have to find gm or longitudinal gm let's change the color of the pen so that it doesn't become monotonous so i have written new kb what is kb now if i have to find out kb as you probably guys know that a box shed vessel kb of a box shed vessel kb is equal to half of the draft this is for a box shed vessel for ship shapes and rectangular and triangular triangular shapes and ship shapes is different 
box shaped vessel right so therefore gml is equal to new so why i have written new is because you have to include the draft which is the new draft so what is the new draft new draft is old draft plus sinkage so that means six meters plus two meters which is equal to eight meters therefore now if i have to transpose this formula gm equals new kb plus bm what is kb kb is half of draft so half of new draft so kb i'll again write this formula here kb plus bm longitudinal minus kg so what is kb kb is half of new draft which is eight meters six plus two eight plus what is bml formula for bml or longitudinal bm longitudinal bm is nothing but length by cube of breadth divided by what is it divided by 12 underwater volume all right minus kg all right so this becomes 8 by 2 meters now remember in this case length by breadth length is not 120 meters remember that right so b bml sorry i think i have i have to correct this formula bml is uh, not b by i'll just correct this because this is longitudinal bm not transverse bm when it's transverse bm it's lb cube when it's longitudinal bm it will be your formula will be the opposite it will be bl cube by 12 of underwater volume right so b stands for breadth of course l stands for the length of the vessel so remember here breadth is of course 40 meters but the length of the vessel you will take as not the 120 meters but the 90 meters of length right you will take it as 90 meters it is the length of the vessel which has the intact water plane length all right so that is what you will take for calculating the because you are calculating it based on the moment of inertia formula uh, I don't want to go into all that right now. Just remember when it's longitudinal BM, it's BL cube by 12V. If it's transverse BM, it will be LB cube by 12V. So the length you will take is 90, not 120. This is the intact water plane length divided by the intact volume or the underwater volume, which is 120 by 40 by 6, but also preceded by 12. You can include 12 here. All right. So 12V. So V is... 120 by 40 by 6 and then 12 is a constant kg is given to you as 7 meters so no issue with that right so what you get here is 81.375 meters you can solve it on your own if i try solving it then you guys will find this to be very long all right so why are we finding out gm and uh, displacement is because of this reason here we're trying to find out mctc why because uh, we are f supposed to be finding out the final draws forward and aft and we have found out the overall sinkage but we also have to find what will be the change in the trim of the vessel once the forward part of the vessel starts to take in water. So to cap it up you have MCTC which is equal to displacement multiplied by longitudinal GM. So this is where you have to be careful it's longitudinal GM not transverse GM divided by 100 is a constant multiplied by length between perpendicular so now we have all the values so mctc will be displacement that you found out earlier 29520 multiplied by gm longitudinal so we found it out 81.375 divided by 100 which is a constant multiplied by the length of the vessel this is the original length 120 meters all right so what is the mctc you will get is 200.183 all right moment to change trim by one centimeters so overall change in the trim tc is equal to nothing but trimming moment divided by mctc all right what is trimming moment this is where the first part of the uh, calculation that we did 
might come in handy all right or maybe it will not but we'll find that out it will come in handy i'll tell you why so we are trying to find out the distance so trimming moment is equal to the weight of the water that the vessel has right kind of taken in now because of the bilging multiplied by the distance i will explain what the distance is and divided by mctc now let's understand what is distance or d before i explain the rest of the stuff all right so d is this distance here so let me find uh, let me tell you what is d so d is now see you have to find d so let me use a different colored pen so maybe i can erase some of this otherwise it gets very cluttered all right so now let me show you what is d so d is uh, this starts from the center of the bilged compartment from here to the new center of rotation to f1 this distance is d all right so now if you have to find d how would you do that so remember that this compartment is at the forward most part right so you know what is af1 right what is af1 it is 45 meters you know ff1 so you know all these distances af so can you calculate d which is from here so remember this distance this is 15 meters so again this is so i leave it to you how you will calculate but i can show you what i have done all right so you can see from f1 see f1 f1 to the this part here f1 to this part here is 45 meters i have shown you this here this is 45 meters right f1 to the aft part of the bilged compartment is 45 meters because it is 90 by 2 45 right and then this distance here half of the bilged compartment is 15 meters half of the bilged compartment is 15 meters and from aft part of the bilged compartment to f1 is 45 meters so what will be d d will be 45 plus 15 meters which is equal to 60 meters all right so i leave it to you how you want to find out there are multiple ways you can find out this d just remember d is the distance longitudinal distance between the center of the bilge compartment to the new center of rotation that you have found out the new center of rotation is what half of the new length which excludes the length of the bilge compartment all right so whatever you want to do you can do there are different ways to find out uh, but i just show you the easiest way so f1 is the half of the new length so therefore just take half of the length 45 meters and then add the half of the bilge compartment should be easy enough 60 meters right that is why we found out all those distances because it gives us some different ways to do so so what is the weight of the water that the vessel has taken in now it is the volume of the uh, compartment right bilge compartment so how can you find out the volume of the bilge compartment is 30 length by breadth of the vessel by 6 meters it was the draft multiplied by 1.025 that was the amount of water that the vessel took in because of bilging multiplied by d is the distance right distance is 60 this is the distance that provides us with the trimming moment so that is the kind of distance that has got affected it's like creating a moment so this water the weight of the water when it has flooded into the vessel it has created a moment uh, so moment is mass by distance so it was acting from the new center of rotation that's why we take that right divided by mctc which is 200.183 that you have calculated above so if you solve all this overall change in the trim will be 22.11 all right this 22.11 is uh, of course this is in centimeters so don't get confused this is in centimeters so overall trim change is 22.11 centimeters not meters all right so 22.11 centimeters and then what you do is you calculate trim forward separately so 22.11 centimeters i think should be centimeters uh, what have we taken everything is mctc moment to change trim yes 22.11 centimeters 
or is it in meters sorry everything should be in meters because this is in meters right so 22.11 meters multiplied by change in trim multiplied by 120 minus 45 divided by 120 why is this because this is the formula so i'll just show you what is the formula of trim forward so trim trim forward is nothing but overall change in trim multiplied by length between perpendicular which is 120 minus the new lcf or you can say af1 divided by lbp this is the formula that is why i have written trim forward as that Alright, so I got a bit confused here because everything here is in meters. So this is meters, this is meters, this is meters. Everything is meters, so 60 meters. So your answer can't be in centimeters, it has to be in meters. Right, that's why I got a bit confused, sorry. Uh, Alright, so this is your trim forward. So now that 22.11 meters is the overall change in trim. How much trim has changed forward? So TF will be equal to, if you put in the values here, the answer you will get is 13.82 meters. 13.82 meters of trim change will be forward and trim change aft is easier to find tc overall change in trim minus tf so tc as you remember above is 22.11 minus 13.82 meters so this will be 8.29 meters that will be the change in the trim aft so let's find out the final draft change so initial drafts will be 6 meters 6 meters forward and aft mean sinkage plus 2 meters overall remember we found that out 2 meters overall mean sinkage which made the new draft 8 meters remember that right so these are the new drafts but the change in the trim forward and aft because of too much water being taken by the vessel forward so we will sink in the forward part right this is the forward draft and this is the aft draft so forward because water is going in the forward we will sink so we will add the change in trim forward which will make it 21.82 meters and because the aft part of the vessel will now rise because the front part of the vessel is going forward this will be 8.29 meters minus 8 point so this will be minus 0 0.29 meters now I know what you guys are thinking that how can a final draft be negative 0 0.29 meters. Um, so let me just quickly explain that the process of doing this question is correct. Um, I'm not sure whether the question was worded correctly or not. But uh, let's let's think about it in a logical sense that remember that the length of the vessel was 120 meters right this was 120 meters of the length of the vessel was 120 meters and the compartment that got flooded was 30 meters which is 30 meters in length now which is almost one fourth the length of the vessel now imagine if one fourth the length of the vessel gets flooded there is a high chance or the forward part of the vessel gets flooded then there is a high chance that the forward part will definitely dip into the water because of which the aft part may come out of the water completely now of course this is um, uh, this could be i could say this is in theory or this could happen in practice now depends on other factors as well but we are only talking about the uh, question here now the process is absolutely correct i don't know if the values were correct or not or the question was framed correctly or not i took a question from uh, one that i got from a subscriber um, but there is a possibility because it's almost one fourth the length of the vessel and if, if you submerge 25 percent of the vessel in water there's a possibility that this can happen uh, the process is correct so just focus on the process like i said i will take up more questions in future which will be a bit more complicated with permeability in place um, but the process is correct and you should follow this process the other thing i want to show you or which may have caused confusion for some of you is how did i get 22.111198 uh, meters uh, uh, you are right the answer that you will get after solving this equation will be 2211.98 but this will be in centimeters so every time you solve the question here this will be in centimeters so you'll have to divide it by 100 to get your answer in meters because uh, meters is what you will be applying to the drafts uh, in this section here 
so get your answers in meters in this case of course it's a bit high the change in the draft uh, 22.2 uh, almost 2 meters and then we have change in draft forward is 13.82 and change in draft off is 8.29 but like i said this is a question in theory um, and uh, just follow the steps i have uh, completed and the steps are absolutely correct the way you will go about interpreting the values is correct uh, and like i said in in further questions i will show you more um, examples to for you to be able to understand thank you for watching this video